Hello everybody, my name is Vex, and I am playing some Tony Hawk today. I'm going to be doing a video talking about, showcasing about all of these different tips and tricks I have for this game because, you know, there are a lot of newcomers to the game, but I don't know if there's really too many great tutorials for brand new beginners or brand new players to the game. This was inspired because one of my friends actually is really new to the game, but there isn't like the greatest place as far as I'm aware. So this is just my output source for to show all these beginner all these beginner tips. And I have a few. They whether they help you, whether they not they don't, I don't know. But I'm I'm confident that a lot of these will. Let me just get started. So right now I'm playing on college. This is one of the maps I would consider as a very good map. Let me go to the maps and show you what I consider to be maps you could practice on to be to get better at the game. I'm going to go through the whole list. I'm going to go all the way up to pro, uh, Project 8 and I guess Thug Pro, which is Andy's room. So from Pro Skater 1, the ones I would recommend are Warehouse, School, and maybe Skate Park or Minneapolis. Uh, specifically Warehouse and School. Warehouse is a nice small map and school is big enough with a lot of different things to do to where there's enough, yeah, there's enough variety. Now for uh, Pro Skater 2, I recommend School 2 the most out of all of the maps, maybe School 2. And also Venice, uh, as at, at least the maps that are in here. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm going to be talking specifically through the eyes or whatever through the context of Thug Pro, which is a mod of Underground 2 for PC, which is a lot of fun, and I do recommend it if you do have computer, but if you have like a PS2 or using emulator, this should help for Underground, Underground 2, American Wasteland, or maybe for even some of the older games, which the games play differently, but yeah. School 2 and Venice Beach. Maybe also Hangar. This is a small map similar to Warehouse, and I do recommend these. Uh, for school, uh, for Pro Skater 3, I recommend Canada, Airport, and especially Los Angeles. This is one of my favorite maps in the game. But I do think that this map is a very good place to learn a lot of stuff. Also, if I go back to School 2, the specific spar uh, part I recommend skating around, but also you could skate around the whole different areas, all the different areas of the map, but I'd recommend this area specifically. All of this, I recommend this area because if I go to here, let me just go there real quick, which you're not gonna be doing all of this right away if you're new to the game. So don't be afraid to just like sit down and practice these as it continues. Uh, don't worry if you can't do a lot of the uh, advanced stuff that I go into later, but I recommend this area because you can go from a ramp, this is just for example, to revert, to going to here, grinding all of this, I guess this is not down yet, so imagine that was already down, but I would grind this, grind this, and just do all of these random different things, which I'll go to, I'll get to into this video. So for Pro Skater 4, I recommend college, most of these maps actually, so college, San Francisco, Alcatraz, London, and maybe Zoo in Chicago. From pro, uh, from Underground 2, or, oh my god, Underground 1, New Jersey, Manhattan, maybe Hawaii, Vancouver, and Moscow. For Underground 2, I recommend Training, which is very similar to a Warehouse because it uses the, it just does it in a very different way and adds more to the level. Uh, Boston is good, but I recommend Barcelona, Berlin, and Australia. New Orleans is also really good to learn stuff on, but these three I don't recommend as much as the rest. From American Wasteland, I recommend these three. Hollywood, Beverly Hills, and Downtown. Now, the rest of these are also really good. Like East LA, you can learn a lot of stuff here. Santa Monica, you can learn to avoid the water, uh, which is... All the way, let me just, yeah, all the way out here, there's all this water. You can start to avoid learning, doing all that. Casino, Santa Cruz, to, uh, Kyoto, and Atlanta are also very good. I recommend 
high school and fun park and additionally you could try andy's room but this isn't my go-to for when it comes to all of these maps okay so i'm going to be doing a lot of this on college just because i feel like this has a good enough variety to be able to learn a lot of things so let's start with the basics the very beginning of this so i want you to learn how to move around pretty well and yes this is going to go through the whole entire list well maybe not the whole list but things i yeah from very beginner so you gotta learn how to move around learn that going uh holding down will slow you down to immediately s to at some point stop and then once you have your foot on the ground like this with your board kicked up you can actually you're actually stopped altogether let me put on my controller display you can see what i'm doing for a controller for keyboard if you have the default controls this could help a lot, but I don't know for people that have custom custom layouts. So this is specifically for people that play on controller, I guess, because I'm going to be talking in the perspective of a controller player. Moving around with up, down, left, right. I've, if you're playing on a PlayStation controller, I recommend using the D-pad. The Xbox controllers, I, I mean, the, D, the analog's all right, but... You know, Xbox controllers, I would just say stick with the analog if you don't like reaching all the way down to where the D-pad is. So, learn how to do this. Uh, but also, if you hold X, you can actually crouch and that will boost your speed. So, if you're holding uh, left or right, but also holding down, you'll get a sharper turn and you'll slow down a little bit, but not all the way. I think, I guess, over time, it slows down a little bit. But you don't notice it because you're just usually just like boom, boom. So now that you have learned how to do that, holding X and then letting go will al will also let you to do a ollie, which you can call it a jump, but in skateboarding terms, it's called an ollie. This is the most important thing in the game, hands down. You jump from things to different things everything involves jumping once you learn that you can go from thing to thing uh just jumping around learning that you can jump over things like this then you're set to go uh so the next thing i really want you guys to learn is how to do flip tricks flip tricks is done with a square so the way that you will do this is by doing an ollie first but then Square is the thing for doing a flip trick, but you realize that you're not going to be doing a flip trick right away with just pressing square. So the way to do a flip trick is by doing a direction and square to combined. Uh, so do them together for any direction for diagonal and you'll be doing that. And the same is for doing grabs, which is with circle. So down circle, right circle, up to the uh, di diagonal yeah it's all there and for grabs if I go up a ramp if I hold it but then I don't let go I will fall so you want to make sure that you finish your trick before you are done so that same goes with uh, with doing a flip trick be aware that when you go up a ramp, if you land on the side, if you land sideways, you will fall. And that will end your combo. So, the same goes with when you are skating around and then you're like, oh, whoa, I'm spinning, what? And then you accidentally fall. That's because you landed sideways. Uh, the same goes with uh, if you're on the ground and you do a trick and then you don't finish it, you will fall. So. I recommend doing tricks that you can do if you're on flat ground do tricks that are quick like a heel flip or a kick flip so the next thing I really want you to learn that is w another key feature or yeah key feature yeah is a grind which you see this rail how do I grind it if I jump on it nope so I have to press a button with that so I jump and then press triangle and that will allow me to grind and it brings up this balance meter now it w may look different to you so let me swap to the display and do hi no theme 
Thug Pro. Base. Yeah. This is how it might look to you. So, yeah. Uh, grind, and there will be this balance meter. Let me actually... Let me f find a different rail. So let me go to this ledge. Cause, so it's any ledge or rail. Some are not marked as grind nodes, which allows you to grind. But you don't have to worry about that if you're not going onto like super high buildings because some of them cannot be grinded. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to worry about that. So grind this. And there's this balance meter. So watch out. If it goes all the way to the right or all the way to the left, it will make you fall. Unless... And this is very specific to if you are grinding a ramp. So this is a ramp and I can grind it, but you see there's, if I, if there was green, but in so, a lot of the games, there's not going to be green or red showing if the, if you will land or not. So you have to be sure that it is a ramp that you can do vert out of. In some cases, it doesn't matter. But that's very specific. So grind this. And then if it's a ramp, you will just go back in. And you will land it uh, so from there I want to do another thing called a manual now this is one of the biggest things to keep your combo alive you do when you're on the ground you just press up and down and that will bring you into a manual now uh, got to be aware about hitting walls because that or I guess it didn't work that time but it will make you and the combo because it's just how it would work in real life I guess if you run into a wall you're most likely not going to be keeping a manual going so you got to be aware about what you're doing and the th same thing is with the grinds for manual is with the manuals you're going to be having a balance meter which the balance meter will be showcasing whether it's safe or not. I don't know. Uh, if you're on a, if you're doing a manual, uh, if you go upwards, you will land it. But if you go down, you will fall and end the combo. So if you also press down up, you do a nose manual. And the nose manual is the opposite. Down lands because you're putting your tail on the ground. And for normal manual, you're putting your nose on the ground. So be aware that you will fall if you do it incorrectly. And so the next thing, this is the big part of all of this. So as you are learning to move around and to do grinds and also learning to do manuals and flip tricks and grabs, I want you to try to link all of these. now. Let's go to a map like I showed earlier, School 2, which has a very great area to learn all of this. So I like to talk about this curb a lot. So let me just bring this down by running into that, making it fall. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna be talking about this curb because I like linking this, doing a grind, and then jumping to this one, and then quickly jumping to that one because it links three grinds all together in a nice little line. And this is where you can learn to do balancing a little bit while also jumping from one rail to the other. And what you could do with this is grind, do a flip trick, grind, do another flip trick, and there you go. But the next thing after that, if you wanted to start from this, you can do a grind to a manual. Yep, Gr to a flip trick. Flip trick to grind to that was not the, the one I was trying to do, but it, it works. To uh, flip trick land, flip trick manual, and don't be afraid if you keep on bailing these because you will get better over time. Just like any game, you will get better over time. Flip trick to the side, so I jump off to the side. So yeah, let me explain that. So when you're grinding and you want to jump off to the side, you want to jump into this grind and then hold to the side and then jump and that will make you jump to the right or to the left so boom jump to the left jump to the right and I'm going back into a manual do a flip trick back into a manual and this is all thanks to me doing ollies with X at some point it will become muscle memory to be doing all of this yeah it just all takes time now 
a big key feature that I've been doing throughout this tutorial uh, is getting off my board. And the way to do that is you do L1 and R1 combined, but at the same time. So do this, getting off your board and getting on, getting off, getting on. And if I'm off the board and I'm at a rail or a ledge, I don't have to go onto my board to grind it. What I can do is instead off my board, I jump and press triangle and I'm grinding. And this is the same with manuals. So if I jump and do up down, I'll go into a manual. So you don't have to worry about going into your board and or onto your board and then going into a manual and then grinding. If you want to do it to where you can, if you're in combo, if you get off your board mid combo, you will have this timer. And if the timer is up, your combo will end. And the com the timer continues. So I do, I get off my board, but then I want to grind, but then I actually want to get off my board again. It will continue to the where, where it left off last. And when it hits zero or the last moment of the timer, it's over. So be aware about that. So I guess you can think of it as three different balance meters, even though it's not a balance meter, but you can think of it in like the same kind of term where you have to be aware of not only a balance meter, but also of this timer. You can really save yourself since imagine I'm, imagine I'm going really slow, but I don't know how to save myself from going to that rail that's right up there. I instead jump, get off my board, run to it, and then grind onto it. And there you go. I have saved my combo from dying from the slowness and eventually going and uh, bailing. Uh, so this time I was able to make it, but imagine I didn't. So I run and I go back on. So learn to combine all of these. It's very useful to go to different maps. Uh, it, it, it's also useful to learn a map, try to get good at that map. But don't be afraid to just go to different maps, even ones that I did not even recommend, because, like, I'm not a big fan of Zoo, but it's not a bad idea to try to learn things in this map. I think it's a nice little thing to try to learn. And right there, water kills you. <laughs> Boom. I'm combining all of this. And... You can just keep it very basic. You don't want to be pressing buttons way too much. You don't want to be pressing uh, all of this way too much. You don't want to be pressing a lot of flip tricks in one uh, in one jump. You don't want to be doing too much because you might fall. And the way I do my balance meter, instead of holding it and doing up and down and holding it like I'm showing you with my controller display, instead. I like to just tap it, give it little love taps, boom, 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 and that will use less force and like force it to go one way. Instead, it'll just give it like oop, oop, and it's it's a lot it's a lot better for your balance meter to do that because you can control it a lot nicer. Same goes with grinds. You don't want to be holding it; you want to be tapping it. Slam City Jam. Now this map is a hole on skate park. I like this map in this story because it's a lot of fun. And there's a lot of ramps. So one, the first thing I want to show you when it comes to this map is actually the most important tool to keep your combo going if you go up a ramp. Instead of going up a ramp and then you're like, oh, I guess the end of my combo is right there. And it actually isn't if you do one key thing, which is called a revert. If you go up a ramp, but then you're about to land, press R2 or L2 in some cases, if you want to use that, to do a revert. Now, this is one of the most integral pieces of, uh, of I don't know, tech, I guess, uh, in the game. It's very, it's one of the most important things to keep your combo alive. Now I'm gonna grind, and then I'm gonna go like, oh, this is a weird ramp. Let me just do that, and then I'm back. So you can do a trick with it, do a quick flip trick, and then do a revert, 
and then go back into a manual. Because going into a revert does not automatically mean that your combo is okay. It it keeps it, but it's like you're connecting tricks. To, uh, you're connecting tricks together. So you do a manual after the revert. And like that, my combo is alive. Now, that's not the only thing that you're going to be doing with reverts or with ramps, I should say. If I go all the way over to this section of the map, all the way to this building, the library, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Is it the library? Philosophy lip. Yep, okay. Whatever. Anyways, there's two ramps stacked right next to each other. One going this way and one going that way. And so, if you decide to press R2 in the air with a ramp like this where there's two ramps right com uh, connected to, to each other facing opposite ways you'll actually do something called a spine transfer which spine transfers are very cool because you don't have to continue going this way and then go like uh, I'm actually going this way again instead you can keep it by going this way if you press R2 in the air you will actually make it so that you air over and go to this and then you got to do a revert and then manual again uh, that is how you keep it going after you do a spine transfer spine transfer so it's a lot of pressing r2 r2 to spine transfer r2 to revert down up or up down to do a manual or a nose manual it's a really cool piece of tech when it comes to doing uh, uh, stuff with ramps. I can't find a good map, man. I, I know good maps, but I'm talking about for the pieces of tech that I want. How about this? Berlin. So I'm going to go all the way to this building, which you can actually get up here by, believe it or not, there's a ramp right there. I guess you can somewhat see. If you do press R2 with that, get up here. And there's a ramp right there. And I'm getting all these gaps, which I don't care about right now. But there's this ramp, there's two ramps right next to each other like this. There's one ramp going up this way, and there's one ramp going up this way. And you can actually, if you do what I said you could do with a spine transfer, you can actually do with this. It's called a hip transfer. Just like with the spine transfer where you press R2 in midair, it's the same exact thing for doing a spine transfer you press r2 midair if some uh, a lot of the time you got to go at an angle to hit it and that way i get the hip transfer a lot of the times you can't just do it or else you'll air out so this is another thing i should tell you about so when you are trying to go for a spine transfer or let's say you just don't want to go back down that same ramp you can actually press R2 to air out, and then, I guess, continue your combo like this. And, you know, your combo is continued. There's a lot of spine transfers around the game. So, you'll find a lot of these spine transfers just by pressing R2 a lot out of different ramps. But because I know a lot of these maps, I know where a lot of these ramps are, I want you to try to, like I said earlier, try to do some cool things with these different maps, try to learn them, do more than just what I am showing right now. Try to do different ramps that I haven't shown. I mean, I, tell, I told you how with ramps, if you go up and you can actually do a board slide or a grind uh, right from a, a grind, uh, or from, a, from a ramp, which you just saw right there. Instead of a grind, I did this thing called a lip trick, which puts you in place, but it has a balance meter just like a ba uh, just like your grind but it does not use the grind's balance meter it is its own thing to balance with so if you have a very wobbly gr uh, grind balance meter you don't have to worry because that same balance meter will not be used for lip tr uh, lip tricks it's on the same axis going left and right it's not using the same balance meter you can also combine doing a grind and also airing out so so there's no ramp on this side so if I press R2 I will air out but then I land on or I guess I didn't land on the ramp but the way you can continue this is if you air out 
but then you press triangle, you can actually grind on that. So I did a flip trick, I aired out, I grinded on it. And then I'm out of that and I'm doing a manual and you're just continuing it. So there's a lot of ways to save yourself from a ramp if you do not want to continue skating it or do a revert. There's a lot of ramps that have spine transfers and hip transfers plastered all over the maps. Now I'm going to go start talking, uh, talking about advanced movement. Now advanced movement, there's a lot that I consider advanced. Eh, uh, I don't like that guy. Uh, so let me go to a map. I like to do a lot of, let me go to Beverly Hills. So there's, there's these ramps or the, not what ramps, there's these walls right here. And I want to show you what you can do. So let me put it to where it's the base controls. Uh, a lot of these controls you can customize a lot, but a lot of this has to do with Thug Pro, the mod I am using. If you have, uh, if you have like base underground two, a lot of these things will not be as customizable or American Wasteland. So there's one thing I want you to do. Uh, so if I'm on my board and I'm skating towards a wall, but then you're like, uh oh, what do I do? You can actually press X again, the Ollie button to do a sticker slap. Now this will allow you to go to the opposite way, just like shoot out the other way and continue your combo. A lot of the times you'll be doing it in a grind. You're like, oops. And then I'm back on this rail, this ledge. And then other times, like I was just showing in a, a second ago, sticker slap into a manual. And so there's a lot of cases you'll be doing this because a lot of the times you're going to be running into a wall, but then you don't want to end the combo. So you just, you do a sticker slap into a manual or a grind. And that's just done by just, like I said, pressing X at the wall yet again. But then let me go back to uh, college. I'm going all over the place to show different parts of playing the game. Okay. The next thing I want to show is wall rides. This is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to a wall. So there's a wall right here. So what I will be doing is using the grind button tr triangle. So the triangle button, well, if I'm at a wall, it will actually, instead of grinding, because there's no grind thing to do right here, I will instead do a wall ride if I press triangle at the wall. And this, if you do a wall ride and then jump again, now I'm up on this wall. So jump, wall ride, jump, grind. And then there you go. So this is a very good tool to go to different places. So like I just showed with this uh, wall, I can't go up there. I can't just grind that. So what do I do? I wall ride, I jump off, I grind. And now I'm up there. And this is used in a lot of areas. One thing I don't do all too often, but it's a nice little thing to do is when you're doing a manual, but then you forget to jump, I guess, is if you're running into wall, instead of having to run into the wall, you can actually hold triangle and you'll do a wall push, which keeps you going in the same manual. Why do I still hear that car? Let me go to a different map. I'm playing New Jersey and you know, I'm manualing. Oops, I can just do triangle, hold that and then hit the wall. And then I'm still doing the same manual. So that way you don't have to run into the wall ever. I mean, there's, there's times that you will. There's times that I do, and I don't even mean to a lot of the time, but it just, it just happens. But wall planting or wall pushing is also very useful. Even if I don't use it all the time, I still do use it. Just not as frequent as doing a wall ride or a wall plant, a sticker slap. This next piece of movement that I really like to do is called a quick turn. Uh, the settings might be a little bit different for your game, but basically if you're on ground, go to off on ground options and control options. In this game it's called power slide or different games. They call it power slide, quick turn, a lot of these different, uh, things. Now it's not like a power slide like this where I'm going fast and I just 
do that as a parasite. Instead, if I do what I have selected for me, for my options, uh, is down, down, R1, down, down, R1. If I do that quickly, I'll do a little thing and I will turn all the way around and go this opposite direction without losing much speed. For some people, you'll have it for most likely down, down, R2. Or some cases, down R1 or down R2. Uh, it's very useful for if you're going fast, but then you actually... Oh, I missed that kicker. I want to go up this kicker, and I'm jumping off of it. Quick turn. Now I'm going off this kicker again. And that way... It's, it's used a lot for if you miss something. It's really helpful in the story mode. Probably the most important thing if you're trying to go from place to place and you're off board. So I'm at this building and I want to go on it. So if I jump at it, I'm not able to get it on it. So what I do is instead jumping and pressing R1. For some people, it might be R2, but I really recommend setting it to R1. So make sure you grab that. You might want to hold it so that you make sure you grab it. But then you get up here and then just do it again. Jump here and grab onto it. So jump, grab, get up with pressing up. You can also shimmy from side to side. This is very useful for some cases. Like you can go around corners with this. It looks a little wacky and some corners you cannot go past like that one. But a lot of the cases, if there's not a, ra uh, like a, ra uh, a wall right here, then it'll allow you to go that way. One thing that's very cool about this is if I'm climbing up from hanging off, I get another thing to be able to do, it, to do another jump so that I get a lot of height. I did say there was no way to get up, but there actually is. If you go at a wall and you not just jump once, but you're holding forward and you press jump again. So X, X again, you will actually be able to get up here. A lot of cases you'll be able to do that and then press R1 again to be able to jump up and get onto a higher place. So a lot of the climbing is due to pressing jumping and uh, doing uh, wall grabbing, wall, uh, grabbing onto walls or ladders. Oh no, I'm falling. I grab onto this. And you have a lot of control when you're in the air by going left and right, backwards and forwards. Oh. What do you want, cop man? There's one more thing I want to show you when it comes to ramps right now. There is a thing called an acid drop. So think of the spine transfer I was showing you earlier. Or airing out. I press R2 midair and that airs me out. Or let me just put on some ramps. Hopefully they're in this. I thought there was ramps. Let me go to college yet again. <laughs> okay, similar to spine transfers where I press R2 midair and I go from one ramp to the other but instead if I'm facing a ramp and I'm off my board or even on my board and I'm at the ramp and I jump and I press R2 I acid drop and I go into the ramp and to continue your combo is doing a revert right when you're landing into it you can do this off board or on board say i'm grinding this rail and i want to go and head and acid drop it looks a little wacky right there because it was doing it at a weird angle but you i i'm pretty sure you can understand i'm grinding this rail or not goodness gracious i'm gonna grind this rail i'm gonna jump over and press r2 to acid drop into the ramp that i already know exists right here that allows me to do an acid drop and then I air out and I grind and you can do this on per every 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 quarter pipe half pipe you can think of you can do that even like when you're up to the ramp you can just jump and do an acid drop it's it's used a lot to gain speed all right I was showing you how to do some flip tricks but the next thing that I want you to do for when it comes to flip tricks is pressing it twice so I press a direction and then I press X twice or square double square and that's called a, a double tap I do that uh, diagonal for for a varial kick flip and that gives me a 360 flip varial heel flip gives me a laser flip or a 360 heel flip uh, double heel flip 360 shove it double impossible 360 hard flip 
you get the gist. But that can be also applied to grabs. I will be doing a method, a stiffy, and then I bail because grabs do take a bit more time. Rocket air, Christ air. I have different tricks from you most likely. So don't be like, what? That's not the trick I have. It's because I set my tricks to be different. Don't be afraid about that. You can just customize your tricks and edit tricks. Uh, test out which ones you like, test out which ones you don't. Now I briefly talked about spinning, bringing it up here because I want you to, I wanted you to learn how to do different things like manualing and kick flipping without worrying about doing score and doing spins and making it look a lot cooler because I want you to get used to how it feels first before you're doing all of this crazy stuff. Maybe you already did uh, find out what, how to spin pretty much, but pretty much just like when you're moving to the left or right on ground, it's instead in air. And this is to add a lot of points or to make it look cooler. I do a lot of spins because it's a lot nicer for me. I like it a lot more than just doing just a kickflip. See how it's a, it's a bit more boring than just doing spins with it. Now, if you land directly like that, that's a perfect. But sometimes if you land very badly and it's not in a full 360, a lot of the times, it'll, or maybe not a lot of the times, it will show up as a sketchy trick, a sketchy spin, and it'll do a whole animation, or sometimes you just won't land it. I'm trying to do a sketchy, but it's hard. Like that. I guess it didn't show up the prompt that it was sketchy, but believe me that it will. Special tricks. This is probably the thing that you've been wanting to learn. A lot of people love to do their special tricks, which is doing co uh, d different combinations of directions and pressing square or circle to do this yellow orangish text text that gives you a cool sound and a lot of points. You can do them. You can set them up however you want. These are the ones that I have because I like them a lot. Uh, you can set them for for grinds, for manuals, flip tricks, gra uh, grab tricks, or even the infinite, infamous, is it infamous? I don't know. ND900 or just 900. If you look at your special tricks, most likely you will only have four set up on default skater. So whatever these are for you, I set them up however I want. You can set them up. If I don't want coffin, I can swap it to an air trick. One, two, three, four, down, up, circle. Now, if I go in the air, and this is the big thing. At the top left, this flashing thing, if I if I start, if it's just gray and empty and not flashing, that means I do not have any of my special meter. You need that filled up to be able to do special tricks. So right now, if I press down, up, circle, it will not do it. But you saw how there's a little bit of orange that was added to it. Each trick that I do adds more to it until it's fully filled up. So now if I do down up circle, it will do one, two, three, four. And that's a special special trick. And there you go. And it's for any of these special tricks. So left, right, square is that for me. Semi flip, up, down, right down for 540 flip. 540. You get the gist. It's, it's like this. And so the grab ones, you hold it just like a grab. You can combine these by doing both flip tricks and normal, you know, special tricks and normal flip tricks and grabs. And it, it will, it adds for a nice combination of things. You can sometimes do, uh, yeah, you can sometimes do two in one, uh, in one air thing. The ones I do recommend because there are specific ones that are faster than others are the ones I've been showing. Uh, 540 tail whip is one I like. Semi flip is probably the fastest one I know of. 540 flip is also really nice. 540 is also pretty quick, but it might throw you off because of all the flipping and all that. It does take a little bit more time than the others. But then the grab ones, they're usually really fast because they just do the trick. They're, it's mainly because it's mostly for grab so that you can hold it to do more points as the grab continues. So like that, I'm doing a lot of points by holding it instead of just tapping it a thousand more. 
Uh, and then that's the same for special manuals. So down up uh, triangle for me is a manual special trick. And this, I think this is the default trick for custom skaters. I like it, so I kept it. Uh, so down up triangle. And when you're in a manual, if you press down up triangle, it will not do it for you. Same with a gr uh, with a grind. If I, I have big header two with left right, so if I'm in a grind, if I hit left right grind, it will not do it for you, for me, for anybody. And so, with that, you can also uh, for uh, let me go back to double taps. So, manuals and grinds have double taps as well. Not only do, do flip tricks. So if I'm in a gr in a in a manual and I hit square twice, that will do a trick and it will send me into nose manual. If I do it again, it puts me into a switch manual, and just it's this cycle, and yeah, it just brings me around, and then I fail. But it it's a trick. It's fun to do. Adds a lot. You can do it with like double triangle does a pogo, double circle does a handstand. Combining different buttons together, like triangle and square, does a truck stand. Square and triangle does a Casper. Circle and square does a two rail, which is a primo or rail stand, whatever you want to call it. But then all of these different com combinations, they all have their own different things to where if you are in, in pr example, primo, if I double tap square, that will do a, another flip for me, another trick, a rail flip, and then I do Casper, and then I do the same thing, but the only thing that's different is instead of me doing this and going to nose manual and then going to switch and just swapping what the stance it is, I instead will stay in the same, the same stance, the same manual. And you don't have to worry about it going to a different manual and swapping the balance meter of which one's right and which one's incorrect. Uh, so same with grinds. So let me find a level that has a good circle grind. Let me go to skate park. Uh, so if I'm grinding this and I do circle twice, I'll do a smith or a crooked. Ah, double square is a smith. And then go back to 50-50 is double triangle and then doing a different thing uh, nose ma uh, nose uh, yeah blunt slide all these different ones do different combinations to give different tricks if you try to com combine uh, combine all of that right now and practice doing these things as another checkpoint I would say do that uh, Maybe not all of like the things like wall push. You don't have to uh, worry about that, but try using wall rides. So you'll also want to use sticker slaps or wall plants a lot. And try doing different tricks with this. Boom. Boom. Do f spins. And you might be wondering why I'm spinning. It's because I'm doing uh, LB, uh, L1 and R1, which... I would say don't worry about that right now, but I will say if you do want to worry about that now, I do, yeah, I do recommend it because it's better for spinning. I won't go into the details as to why in this video, but it is better to learn to do spinning with your bumpers. It, do, it definitely felt very uncomfortable at first, but I, I'm, I'm so used to it. The next thing I want you to learn, Barcelona. So this map, I like it a lot, but there's one thing you can do. In this little thing, if you run into this, it launches you. Now let, let me actually do it to where I am playing online. Now this is local online, so I won't be running into people, but it will act like it is online and make it so that I won't have like that weird little thing where the camera pans out and it's stuck on me. So I want you to practice using it on this maybe. There's a, you can practice doing it on ramps. Uh, so if I'm on this ramp right here, if what I do in midair, if I do a grab, so I do a nose grab, and I double tap up, down, or left, or right, 
I will do different flips. I'll do a roll. I'll do a backflip. And you have to do this by holding a grab. Now, you can also do this if you're holding the flip trick still. But it might confuse you at first because you're not still doing the flip trick and you're not accustomed to holding down the flip trick button. So just worry about doing it with, with grabs and yeah. Double tap up when you're in a, in a flip and then do another flip uh, uh, trick. Now I like doing it off this because you know, I can do a, a acid drop right there. Now I just know this one is here because I've done it so many times. But you can you can s spot out different ramps, which if I go out of this again, which how I got that height is I actually ollied into this instead of, you know, yeah, so this, boom, did a flip, did a flip, revert, did another flip, or I guess that time I didn't do a flip for whatever reason, revert. There's a lot of random boosts in a lot of maps, and yeah. I'm going to stop that combo there because I don't want to keep that going right now. I wouldn't worry about doing that right now. I would just worry about doing it off of a quarter pipe or a half pipe. Now, this is the this is some very specific stuff that I don't th I don't think you need to worry about if you're a new player. But this is like if you've learned all of that and you want to learn more, this is for you. So, when you're on a rail, you can actually press R2 to get off the ledge or L2 to get off your ledge as well. But this is a Thug 2, uh, or not Thug 2, but a, a Thug Pro and Tonics Pro Skater 1 and 2 exclusive thing to do it for L2. This thing for, to drop down has been in a lot of games, but to drop down with L2 is only in this game and uh, the remake 1 and 2. So. Uh, all the other games, you're just only going to be dropping down with R2 then and, and not L2. So if you're grinding, you press R2, you drop down. And you can actually, from this, you can go into a manual and then go back into the same grind. But I don't recommend going back into the same grind because what I will show you right now will make you not want to do that. So I'm going to show you how the balance meter works. Say I'm just going to be grinding on this. I'm going to set my restart, which you can do that by holding uh, select or whatever it is for you. Maybe it's tab. Uh, but this rail right here, this ledge, if I grind it, then jump and grind on it again, then jump and grind. Let me find a, something that's longer, like this. Jump, grind, jump, grind, jump, grind. And you can see how each time it's further and further to the side to where I'm eventually falling off. Jump, grind, jump, grind, jump, grind. I'm not even doing anything with the directions. You can see that. And it just, it eventually makes me fall. It's because this game punishes you if you keep on grinding the same rail. And same thing happens if you're manualing and you just keep on manualing and it just keeps on punishing you. You can see how it just keeps on punishing you. So you gotta be aware about that. But this is the weird thing. Manuals, it's fine to do two times in a row. Grinds, it's not good to do two times in a row, but manuals, it's fine. Now, it did look like there's a little bit of a difference uh, or like different placement, but it does not punish you like legitimately, it does not make it so that it's a lot faster or anything. It just, yeah, it acts the same. So, what I recommend is either grinding onto different rails. So I grind this to grind this and it's not punishing me. I could have wall planted off of that, but I jumped to this and I jumped to the side to jump on that one, but I was too slow. And you can do this a lot while plant grind on this and this will not punish you grinding on different rails. Another thing that will not punish you is doing a grind uh, manual, manual, grind this, but then I want to go back to the same rail that I just grinded on, and that will not punish you. So, grinding from one rail, grinding on a different rail, but then grinding on the same rail again, the first one, that will not punish you. I know this is a lot, so don't be afraid if you're confused a little bit. It does, it, it, I, sometimes it is a little bit difficult for some things, 
to understand, but I don't, I think this one's a little bit easier to understand compared to some other stuff, but basically what I'm trying to say is when you're in combo, you want to grind, do a manual to another grind, to manual, to another grind, or in a lot of cases, manual, manual, then grind again and not do a third manual because that will actually start to actually punish your manual balance meter. This one, okay, this part is uh, might be a little bit difficult at first because it's it has to do with timing. So if I'm on this rail and then I jump to this rail and then I go back and forth and I just hold triangle, which it's easiest to do by holding it with claw. It, might, it will definitely be uncomfortable, but holding it with triangle with your index and you just keep on spamming left, right, left, right while also doing uh ollie but not in a like a spammy ish way you definitely want to have some timing with it but i just say spam because you're doing it pretty fast and you see in the bottom left there's a shuffle bonus so doing a shuffle will actually give you points but it did it does not punish your your balance meter as you can see if you can see correctly that it is actually keeping it in the middle without changing its position. And there's a lot of strange er areas or just like obvious areas where grind, ba uh, grind shuffles are able to be done. Uh, it's not always in all the areas that you might want it to be, but it's in a good handful of areas. Like this is a sh grind shuffle because it's two uh, ledges right next to each other. This, I wish it was, but it's too thin, I guess. There's there's a lot of grind shuffles, and there's a lot of areas to do them pretty well. Um, so the thinner it is, the easier it is, I guess. So let me go to Shipyard, for example. On these, on these little rails, I can do a grind and do a shuffle like this, and it gives... It gives some points. It's not a lot of points, but it gives points. And I am just like, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. And you know, I'm just getting a lot of points. A lot of it has to do with gaps, so if you're trying to do score, make sure that you're getting gaps. That was, I didn't mean to just like show off and give three mil just like that, but yeah. Uh, last thing I wanna show with rails is called a rail stall. So this rail right here, or this ledge, if I hold R2 and then press triangle, I will stall. And that will stop me. And if I hold backwards, I can jump backwards. But if I don't, I'll just jump forward, jump to the left, jump to the right, jump to the forward left, back right. You have full control with this. But if you're doing it on a slope, it will make it so that you do go down that slope. It... A lot of the cases is not the most obvious that it will, will, but then it becomes obvious because it does build up speed. Now this, I stall, but then it brings me backwards because that's where it is going. It's, it doesn't make the most sense uh, of how it fully uh, reacts and feels because I am not the biggest pro at using stalls but I like to use them every once in a while. Uh, another thing I want to show real quick is if I go to Berlin, this map is good for this. Uh, a lot of American wasteland maps are also good for this, but if you see a pole like this, if you're holding R1 or L1 uh, and I press grind, I will do a not a spin. You can do different tricks with this, but you're just spinning around and same thing like a stall, if I'm holding backwards, I will jump backwards. If I'm holding left, I'll jump to the left. It's just like a stall, but instead, you're on a spinning pole. And there's a lot of things that have 
spinny stuff like this little thing that will probably break open maybe not so boom now I'm jumping that way now wall ride I jump on these different rails wall ride to grind wall plant spinning around and then also acid drop revert I'm manualing around I'm doing these different tricks boom and I try to land perfect or clean some games say it differently uh, and then I land it and it you will definitely improve a lot if you use a lot of these tips in this video I'm not going to be going into tech like uh, butt slaps where you get multiple uh, ollies in one it's a uh, yeah a lot of the tech like this I'm not going to be showing because I already have tutorials on that. You can find them pretty easy. I won't be telling you how to do boost plants or anything like that in this video. Uh, but if you want to learn how to do these, these things, I do have a playlist of all of my tutorials. This is just to get all of the basics and some a little bit of advanced stuff all in one. And my game just crap. Oh no. Oh! Okay. Hello? My computer just gave me the biggest scare after recording this whole thing for over an hour. I'm finally shut. Because right when I'm ending, okay, I was just gonna show a cool trick. Go like boom. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. You know, but you know, you can learn how to do stuff like that with the playlist that I have with all of the different tutorials. And yeah, I think this is about it. If you guys have any questions, be free to feel free to leave them down, and I maybe I'll answer them. Maybe I won't. Uh, it depends if I see it or not. You know, uh, sometimes I don't see comments, and it's not my fault because you know newer videos also get different comments, and you know sometimes I don't see comments. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, just feel free to ask me stuff if you have questions. Uh, and I think that's about it. My name is Vex, and I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share it with a friend that needs this. If they're really bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they all definitely need this. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Stay goaded.